Hey, this is Ralamata. And Donna from Apsai. And you're listening to a Creative Commons licensed podcast. Word. This is the Trilingual Chat Box podcast. We're Laurie from Taiwan. And Mai from Japan. In this podcast, we share our Japanese and Mandarin language learning experience with our audience in English. If you're interested or you have a similar language learning background, welcome to join us. Lori san, I saw your mom wearing a very nice dress yesterday. Did you give it to her? Lori san, got a son, you gave it to Oh no, one of my mom's friends gave it to her for her birthday. Okasan no tomodachi ga akimashita. I see. Okasan no tomodachi ga kuretan desu ne. She looked great in that dress. And what did you give for her birthday? Kaban o kuremashita. Did your mom give you a bag? Uh, no, no, no. I gave her a bag. I see. Lori san ga okasan ni kaban o agetan desu ne. That's right. Uh, so, uh, san why did you pick today's topic? Um, yeah, as uh, as you hear, as everyone here uh, uh, just heard from our skit, we're talking about um, kuremasu, uh, kureru, and uh, ageru today. Um, and I picked this topic because, um, Although I learned this grammar point at, at a very early stage、um, during my Japanese learning、um, period, I, I've never really mastered this.、Uh, it's been really difficult for me,、um, and I'm never like, I, I'm not really confident about using it. Like、um, the sentence is,、uh, My son wa watashi ni hon wo kuremasu. And、uh, Watashi wa my son ni hon wo morau,、uh, moraimasu. Okay, like sentences like these,、um, if a Japanese speaker speaks speak really,、uh, really fast, I won't be able、mm-hmm. to follow.、Um, and also, there, there's the joshi, joshi there. Sometimes it's, it's ga, sometimes it's ni, and sometimes、um, Japanese people also omit something,、mm-hmm. and it becomes really confusing for、um, Japanese learners.、Um, like, I try to compare that with English, but it's still different because they, there could be different translations. That's why I. Chose this topic. I know it's a very big topic for you, <laughs> but, <laughs> but、um, I just hope that you can、uh, share your, your point of view on it、um, with me and our audiences. All right. Yeah. yeah. This is quite confusing. Yeah. Just now you mentioned three words ageru, kureru, and morau.、Mm-hmm. Right. right. So today I'm thinking to focus on ageru and kureru. Okay. And maybe next Japanese episode, I will focus more on moral and joshi. Okay, great. Yeah. yeah, let's do that. Okay. So, okay, today I'm gonna、uh, explain the be- difference between ageru and kureru.、Mm-hmm. Okay. The English translation of ageru and kureru are both give, right?、Mm-hmm. So, it is hard for learners to understand when to use ageru. And when to use kureru. Right. Okay. Okay. So, first thing you have to understand is the concept of insiders and outsiders. Okay.、Mm-hmm. Insiders are people who are close to you, like your family members and maybe some close friends. Then、mm-hmm. everybody else are outsiders. Okay. Like, like your close friend, how close? <laughs>、uh, <laughs> like, Mm, like, your, like your team, team members. You mean, team members. I mean, like, I think basically it's family members. Uh huh. So, so if, if your cl- close friend is very close, like your family members, then、okay. they are then, insiders. Right, know, right, right. So, in my opinion, in our culture, we try to be more polite to people who, are, who you don't know well. Mm-hmm, so that's、right. why we use the different time,、mm-hmm. kureru, to show kind of appreciation or respect. 
to those mm-hmm. people. Okay, especially with the kureru, um, the verb. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I think this concept is not that difficult. But mm-hmm. if you are talking about two insiders, you have to compare them to see who is closer to you. Mm-hmm. So, for example, if you, uh, mm, so if you, mm, if I compare my uncle and my brother, my brother is closer to me. Mm-hmm. So in this case, my brother is an insider, and my mm-hmm. uncle is an outsider. Okay, so I'm right. just yeah, I'm just using the word insider and outsider to make it easier to explain. But it, but it's um, it's not like they are strangers. Mm-hmm. Like they are like the outsiders are the ones who I need to be more polite to. Ah, okay. So we have to show more respect and appreciation. Mm. Okay, okay. Right. So, so you usually use this sentence structure to, um, to show that one part. Of the、mm-hmm. the person that you're talking about is、um, needs to be to be respected, or we we need to respect this person. So we use kudemas.、Mm, that's right. Yeah. And then like,、uh, ageru is more like neutral. Mm, mm, that's right. That's right. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. Because my if my uncle is giving something to my brother, then I feel. I have to show appreciation to him,、ah, so that's why I use、yeah. kureru. Okay,、mm-hmm. like my brother is my my team team members.、Mm-hmm. So I have to、ah. take care of him. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, I see. Okay, so there are seven points I want to、uh, I want you to keep in mind. Okay,、mm-hmm. so so they are really confusing, like a puzzle. <laughs> if you have pen and Paper, <laughs> maybe you should write them down. Yeah, then... I, I will. I will. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm ready. ready. <laughs> Point number one. Okay, no matter who is the giver, if you are the one receiving something, you will、mm-hmm. use kureru.、Mm-hmm. Okay. For example,、uh, my mom gave me a pen. Okasan wa watashi ni pen wo kuremashita. Mm-hmm. Okay. A shop okay. assistant gave me a pen. 店員さんは私にペンをくれました。Mm-hmm. Okay, somebody giving you something, so it's くれる。くれる。Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So number two, if you are the one who is giving, you always use あげる。Okay, it doesn't matter if you are giving it to an outsider or insider.、Mm-hmm. So I gave a gift to my nephew. It's 私は老いにプレゼントをあげました。Mm-hmm. Okay, number three. If an outsider gives something to your insider, you will use the word kureru. Okay. To show appreciation to the right. outsider. Right. Like the,、um, the example you just gave us. That's right. Okay.、Mm-hmm. Point number four. If you are Insider gives something to your outsider, you will use ageru.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Then number five, if your insider gives something to an insider, and those insiders are equally close to you, you will use ageru. So,、mm-hmm. for example, if your mom gives something to your brother. Then I get. お母さんは弟にペンをあげました。Mm-hmm. Okay. And、okay. Number six. If an insider gives something to an insider, and one of them is closer to you, and the person who is closer to you is the receiver, you use kureru.、Mm-hmm. Okay. This is the case of my uncle and brother. Okay, so so、um, as long as the one who's receiving something is close to you, you you use kureru.、Okay. Uh, that's right. That's right. Right. You got it. Okay. Okay.、Mm-hmm. Last one is if an outsider 
gives an outside, outsider, you will use ageru. Because、mm-hmm. there is no insider. You can use、right. ageru. And, and you don't need to show any appreciation. So that's right. That's right.、Use. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Are you ready for quizzes? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah,、Let's... I knew it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I prepared five quizzes. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. So I will first I will read English translation and then give you Japanese and give you A, choice of A and B. Please、okay. choose one of them. Okay. Question、right. number one. I gave a book to my brother. Watashi wa ototo ni hon wo A. Agemashita. B. Kuremashita. A. Agemashita.、Mm, that's right. You are the giver. So always、yes. a g e Okay, okay correct. Number two. My brother gave me a book. Ototo wa watashi ni hon wo A. Agemashita. B. Kuremashita. 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 Because you are receiving. receiving. So, k u r e m a s t a Right. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. My boss gave a gift to my mom. Watashi no joshi wa haha ni e. Presento wo e. Agemashita. B. k u r e m a s t a I'd say k u r e m a s t a That's right.、Mm-hmm. That's my mom's close. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Sit inside of you. Okay.、Right. So, question number four My teacher gave a ring to his wife. Watashi no sensei wa oksan ni yubi wa o e agemashita. B. Kuremashita. Agemashita.、Mm, that's right. They are、mm-hmm. outsiders. <laughs> hey, yes. Okay, very good. The last one. <laughs> my uncle gave a bike to my sister. Oji san wa. 妹に自転車を A あげました B くれました、um, Probably くれました、right? That's right, perfect、uh, Yay <laughs> Because I thought my sister、right. should be Yeah, she should be closer <laughs> <laughs> Okay So that's the end of the questions Okay, yay okay. Today we talked about the difference between あげる and くれる Okay.、Hope、it made sense to you. Yes, it does. I get everything、okay. right, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. You did. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll be discussing another topic focusing on Mandarin Chinese that's specifically chosen by my son next time. So, welcome to join us again. If you have any questions, suggestions, or if you want us to discuss a certain topic, please leave a voice message to us. We will try to make an episode on that topic. Alright, see you next time. Bye!